We are John and Miriam. We may live along the Virginia coast, but for the next few months, we will again call the road our home. We plan to ride our Can-Am Spider to the Pacific coast and back, over 7,000 miles through 16 states. We are calling this trip a lap around America. We know this odyssey will offer up its full survey of adventure, scenic beauty, along with the standard dose of challenges. But that's what we signed up for. We mount up the spider and head west from Loretto, Kentucky, and saying goodbye to our friends Jim and Betsy as they head back south to Alabama and we continue west. Our destination today is Sykeston, Missouri, just across the Mississippi River. Should be a pretty straight route with moderate temperatures, little chance of precipitation. I was saying, I told Lisa Marie that uh, we would have had a good time anywhere with Betsy and Jim, but staying at her place just added a whole new level she was so sweet and it was so special uh, experiencing the derby with her yeah, it's like one of the originals oh it's a little chilly I'm just grateful for having the few days respite, you know, especially we, uh, we dodged the bullet again with bad weather. We weren't on the spider during that hailstorm. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. The Ohio River. And right over there on the other side of it is uh, the Mississippi. This is uh, the two rivers converge about uh, a mile, not even a mile down, downstream. Hmm. A lot of barge activity. Yep. Much cooler up here. Yeah. We're in Illinois. Are we in Illinois? <laughs> we just passed the Illinois line. How'd that happen? Who knew? Oh, Chicago, right up the road. <laughs> now I knew we were cut off we cut the corner. Hmm. Well let's wait until I get stopped and you give me a high five. Okay, high five, Illinois. Did you count Illinois in your 16 states? Yeah, but we're going to go through it twice though. Ah. What's coming back? The amazing thing is we're on Route 60 again. Route 60 starts just a few miles from our house at the Rudy Inlet Bridge at Virginia Beach. Goes to the California state line. What? Oh, now we're going across the Mississippi. Cool. Now we're across the Mississippi. Huh. So the park is over there. We uh -oh. missed it. But we're, but we're so close to our destination, I think okay. we'll survive. Which translates to a very fast uh, Tour of Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> she looks muddy, the Mississippi. Get some good video of it because I'm looking at this whole narrow yeah. bridge. It is narrow. Woo. We just hit the Missouri. Missouri state line. High five. <laughs> wow. Two states in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> we arrive in Sykeston, Missouri and caught up with Artie and Tracy a couple of spider riders who live in the area 
and we join them for dinner at a restaurant named Lambert's where they literally throw the food at you. So we just landed in uh, Missouri and look who we ran across. So once, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Tell us a little about yourselves and about your spider. Uh, I'm Artie, this is my wife Tracy, born and raised right here in Sykeston, Missouri. This is our 17 RT Limited. We bought it a couple years ago, had it, uh, put a lot of accessories on it just to make it our own, enjoy riding, uh, a lot of local rides, you know, put a lot of miles on it. On the weekends, just 150 miles and not get 50 miles from Sykeston. Just, you know, hitting the back roads, yeah. all the country roads, that's the way to go, yeah. health interstates. Very good. And tell us about the little uh, container on the back of your uh, luggage rack. This is made by Karaokin. It's called the Karaokin Pet Palace. Uh huh. And we have a uh, four pound chihuahua that we carry in here. And she actually rode in this all the way to the Hot Springs, Arkansas, to the Spider Rally last year. She rode in here. There's uh, plenty of ventilations for them so they, can, uh, they can breathe. Ventilations through the top. And she sits in. Does real well. A lot of times she'll go to sleep on us back here. Rents. I hope she's still breathing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, good morning. Yeah, close the visor. We are outbound from Sykeston, Missouri, heading to Springfield. Got an earlier oh. start than we planned on doing. Uh, but we were with the time change. We we're up and ready to go. It's quarter after eight. This is still off. It's on Eastern time. Yeah, we, we had such a good time here. Uh, had a delightful dinner with Artie and Tracy last yes. night. Yep. And uh, that just made this visit. You know, we learned all about the Unilever ice cream plant that Artie worked at for 40 years until he retired in 2020. And then what did he do? He went out. He went to buy a two-wheel motorcycle. Uh, Goldwing. Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to promote the brand. <laughs> and uh, went several hundred miles to a dealership and came home with the Can-Am Spider RT. And loves it. Because his wife told him to. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. Very wise. Yeah. But, uh, and I tell you what, I slept better last night than I've slept in eight days of travel. So thank you, Sykeston, for that. Well, I think it's the... Uh, we have the rhythm of the road down now. It's... You know? Yeah, and it was a lot of lot of fresh air yesterday. There's <laughs> there's uh, the sign for Lambert's where we had dinner. Oh yes, very eclectic place, <laughs> very unique, and a they lot throw, of food. A they lot. throw food at you. They literally throw <laughs> food at you. <laughs> but it was delicious, yeah. home like home cooking. Yeah, and they just they have this thing they call what do they call it? Is throw throw rolls well, and no, pass they, arounds. Pass around. People just keep showing up at your table with sides. You want some more potatoes. You want some more of this. You want some more of that. It's like, good Lord, my plate's still full. <laughs> but, yeah, you're not going to leave there hungry. Yeah. So, I already recommended we go through downtown to, uh, before we get on to uh, US 60, which is where we're, the road we're taking today, all the way over to Springfield. Yeah. And also looking for a drugstore, because now... Miriam's allergies are starting to. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mine are calming down now. <clears throat> it's all good though. We'll survive. We talked. We talked this morning about over coffee. You know, sometimes travel is just not pretty. Isn't that what you said? <laughs> not for sissies. It's not for <laughs> sissies. You know, allergies and you know, yeah, falling down in bathtub. Yeah, bumps in the night. Yeah. Uh. But so far, we haven't hit weather, so I think we've done exceptionally well for a solid week of travel and not getting caught in uh, rain or hail yep. or tornadoes. And, and the most important is uh, the only thing at home that I really miss is our parrot. <laughs> and well, we got, and we got, got an update, update from our uh, bird sitter this morning, which made us feel good. So thank you, Aaron. We arrive in Springfield, Missouri and check in to the Best Western, which was one of the original Best Western hotels built in the 1930s, which is adjacent to Route 66. Look at the old British style phone booth. We then head over to Springfield Brewing Company and connect with 
Pat and Alan, two fellow spider drivers who drove in from Northwest Missouri for a quick meetup and dinner, followed by the obligatory selfie. Hey guys, bear with me one second. Let me start her up here. We are leaving Springfield, Missouri, on the way over to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, it's about, uh, <clears throat> about 8 o'clock local time. Short mileage day, uh, 190, 184. Weather is going to be warm, some breezy, maybe not as bad as it was earlier. Let's see. Guesses go, tippings go, things are. Yeah. All right. We're going to get on Route 66. Yeah, which is like uh, huh. right behind us. You know, we, uh, we learn by doing. And one of the things that we have uh, determined is uh, we already are not liking the pace. Because it's just uh, giddy up go, giddy up go, giddy up go. And uh, even though our non-ride days were full, Oh, anxious for some days I could just sit and get caught up on admin stuff and crunching video and so, this evening we get to the hotel or the uh, Airbnb in Tulsa we are going to consider amending our route a little bit just to give us more flexibility. We'll see. Spill some water or something? <laughs> yeah, it's so freaking hot. <laughs> Needed some refreshment. So, no, but there's water in my seat. Ice water running from the back of my seat forward in the another region, and it's chilled and it feels so good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the cool that refreshes. Did you do that on purpose or was it an accident? No, I was hot. I needed to do something. So we've had a request while we're in the uh, Tulsa area to do a gathering or a meetup, and uh, some feedback was the Brick, Bricktown, Bricktown Brewery in, around the 71st Street in Tulsa. We're here. We got here early. Here's the table. I will consider a win if anybody else shows up. But if not, we're going to have uh, some snacks and drink a beer. So early in our planning, we got an email from Dan from the Spider Riders of Broken Arrow. They requested a meetup in the Tulsa area. Never knowing how these things are going to turn out, we were pleasantly surprised with a grand total of 20 fellow Spider Riders showed up. It was an honor to hang out with these folks. Regrettably, we only had a two-hour window for the meetup. We had prior dinner arrangements with Terry and Wilma Hanley, who have logged over 75,000 miles on their Spider RT, and preparing for a very long journey, equal in scope to ours, the next day. 